Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are giving God praise. We are giving God thanks for this evening that we can come into His very presence to bless His holy name. Saints, we are thankful. It's the third day of our fast and it's the second night of our hour of power. What a wonderful, uh, you know, time being in the presence of the Lord in prayer, in fasting, in seeking His face. Uh, so tonight again promises to be a fiery time in the presence of Jehovah God, uh, whereby we will bless His holy name, whereby we will offer praise uh, even from our very homes. Uh, and I trust God that you are ready to bless His name and to receive from the heaven. Uh, how many are ready this evening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless His name. So let us look to the Almighty God this evening in prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we say thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Mighty God, we exalt your name. As Bible tells us, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, we exalt your holy and precious name. We say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and what you are doing. And this evening we say, mighty God, have for thine way that the anointing will break yokes and undo heavy burdens. We thank you, God, for every individual that is tuned in and those that are still coming into the live. We are declaring, mighty God, that your divine intervention will reach them, that whatever the situation as they connect, their praises will flow, that the anointing will flow, mighty God. We're saying thank you, thank you for this hour of power. Let sweet Holy Spirit have his way. Lord, take preeminence. Take the glory this evening, mighty God, as we will sit, as we will stand, and as we will bless your holy name. Father, we commit this service into your hand, and we say shower down, rain down, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So saints of God, we just want to bless Jehovah God. We know that, uh, you know, God is able to do whatever concerns us. And whatever your situation today, God cannot fail. God will not fail you. We trust and obey for there is no other way. Bible tells us uh, to seek ye the Lord while he may be found and we will seek the Lord. Tonight is another night to seek. Tonight is another night to knock. He said to knock and it shall be open unto you. Seek and you shall find. And this night we're going to seek the hand of the Lord. We're going to seek the face of the mighty God so that there shall be change. So get up on your feet if you can. As I say I'm confined to my desk at this time but bless the Lord. We can give him praise, honor and glory and we can raise a praise from our very homes into the atmosphere and charge the atmosphere that whatever hindering force is there it must leave in the name of Jesus so at this time I turn you over to Sister Crystal and Pastor Christopher Conley to take us in a time of worship hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord Serving 
bless the name of Jehovah God this evening. We are thankful to be in his presence. We are thankful uh, that we are able to give praise and honor to him one more time. Uh, such an awesome God that we serve magnificent in all of his ways. Uh, and saints of God, uh, you know, the book uh, of Acts is a book of action. It's a book of power. It's the connecting link between Jesus Christ and his body or the church. Uh, and uh, it begins with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which gives us the empowerment uh, to go forward. Uh, and many a times you would read the word uh, and you uh, may not understand it. Uh, Holy Spirit enlightens. Uh, and I want to say to you that uh, in tune uh, with the frequency of heaven this evening, uh, I want you to know that even if you didn't understand it the first time, you can go it over. Revelation will come as you embrace this logos, this written word. Uh, God is is ready to, uh, to pour into your very spirit. Uh, he's ready to give you that download, as I said yesterday evening. Uh, and you got to be open. Your vessel got to be open. Amen. Amen. Uh, so this evening, we are going to continue in the word of God. Hallelujah. And we're going to look into the book of Acts, uh, written by a Gentile doctor, one that was not a Jew. Uh, Luke, the physician, it's accredited unto him. Uh, being inspired of the Holy Ghost, uh, he was able to write fluently uh, and record those things that he saw even with his own eyes. Uh, and child of God, this evening, uh, how many of you would like to see the miracles, the demonstration of the power? When you look at the book of Acts, uh, even as Holy Spirit was promised, uh, so it was. The outpouring came at the very beginning. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. The apostles and they were pressured uh, and they had to split up. Why? Because the area that the church began in, uh, pressure began to form uh, and they had to scatter and carry the gospel. Uh, now, it was told to them to carry it to the various places, uh, but they were comfortable and sometimes pressure have to come uh, so that the gospel could reach others. They were too complacent, too comfortable in the time and the season that you may go through uh, where pressure comes up against you see and know if it is for God's glory to be seen mm -hmm. his word to be shared or if it is for another reason but in the book of Acts it's so that his word can reach the many that I need salvation would have been able to go to all that I need because they had to start in their hometown and continue amen, amen. so child of God in looking at the word of God the word of God is truly precious amen, amen. And uh, in living our life, uh, we are commanded to shape our life according to the word. And uh, when you submit to God, uh, Bible says submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee. Amen. Uh, when you submit to God, this word you are submitting to. Amen. Uh, because how will you submit to God? Uh, physically, we cannot see God. Uh, but because we are spiritual beings on the earth, uh, that man is a spirit, uh, he has a soul that is housed in a flesh body, we know that our God is real. And Bible says uh, in John 4, 24, for God is a spirit. Uh, and they that worship him must do so in spirit and in truth. Uh, so sometimes when, you know, it's impressed upon you to lift your hands, lift your hand. Uh, it's impressed upon you just, uh, you know, to weep before the Lord. Let the tears flow. You know why? because God is ministering. I do not know what breakthroughs that you will receive when you flow with God, but I know the breakthroughs are sure. But when you flow against God and you push against God, the challenge is going to be great. Amen. So it's important that we flow. Grieve not the Holy Spirit. It's Bible. Bible tells us we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if Holy Ghost resides on the inside, we should not grieve Holy Spirit. We want to look into the book of Acts chapter 5. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 5. And what does Acts chapter 5 say? Hallelujah. In the beginning of the chapter, you will see where Peter had an encounter with a couple named Ananias and Sapphira. And they had a portion of land and they decided that they were going to sell it. But after selling it, they were looking at how all the saints they were bringing their money and putting it at the feet of the apostle and uh, being a blessing so the church of Jesus Christ can be built uh, and they can take care of the people in the house as you will see. 
now, uh, they had a plan. Uh, and sometimes, as believers, I trust none of you will have a plan like that. Uh, they have a plan to lie. When we lie, it have uh, repercussions. Amen. Uh, whether it's about money or whether it's about something else, uh, we ought not to lie. Tell your neighbor, we ought not to lie. Not not to lie. Amen. Say no lying saints. No lying saints. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Those that lie, Bible say you are offer your father the devil. Amen. No lying. Hallelujah. No lying. No lying. Hallelujah. We must I see nobody. No lying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The church of Jesus Christ must speak truth. Amen. So, you know, at that point in time, uh, Ananias and Sapphira, they sold their land uh, and they had their possession, uh, whatever amount of money, the total. Uh, but you know what is amazing when you look at it? Uh, they allow Satan to fill their heart to lie, not against Peter, but against the Holy Ghost. Amen, somebody. And when you lie against the Holy Ghost, you're in trouble. Tell your neighbor, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Hallelujah, when you lie. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, Peter had to question and he said, is this all that you have sold the land for? And Ananias said, yes, he lied. Saints of God, you can see a good move going on in the house of the Lord and you want to be a part. Don't lie. True, Don't true. lie. You have your commitments. Nobody's going to kill you. Everybody have commitments. Hallelujah. But don't lie to make yourself look real good. Amen. How many believers lie to make themselves look good? Come on now. Some people do. But we are not about that. Amen. You would know believers who have done it. And probably you have done it in the past. But you are changed being in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because God has given us forgiveness through Jesus Christ. If you did it in the past, you can no longer do it. Why? You know better now. Him that knoweth to do good and do it not to him, it is a sin. So we need to understand we cannot be sinners. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So saints of God. When the man of God asked him, he said, yes, this is all. He said, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie against the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. When you lie to the man of God or to the woman of God, you are not lying to them, but you are lying against who? The Holy Ghost, according to the word of God. When you say untruths, as you would, you know, we like to polish the word. We don't like to use the word lying. But Bible says, thou shalt not lie or bear false witness. More than the English lie. Amen. We ought to tell the truth at all times, no matter how painful it is. Or if you're not going to tell the truth, you're still not going to lie. Amen. There's a way you can do it without lying and without telling the truth. I would give the church example. You know, uh, sometimes somebody may come to you and say, but, um, but you know, I know you so long, whatever it is. Uh, uh, how much money you have in the bank? Sometimes people may ask you a question like that. You not answer that. Amen. Somebody. Amen. If you're smart, you will answer that. Whether you have just one dollar in the bank, you're not going to answer that. Amen. But you're going to know how to answer in accordance without getting angry, but being able to say, well, I can't understand how that will concern you, but bless the Lord, whatever I have. You know, I give God thanks for it, whatever I have there. But you're not telling them you have a dollar. Amen. you got to be wise. Amen, Amen. saints. Uh, we got to be wise in the times and season that we live. Uh, you don't want to impress them and say, well, you know, yes, according to that, uh, it's just under a million dollars. Come on, saints. You're not going to lie. <laughs> if you have, you know, a limited, a small amount, uh, listen, uh, God will increase as you uh, increase in strength, as you increase uh, in the wisdom of God uh, and continue to bless the name of the Lord as you are uh, in the word, you will be able to flow. Amen. It's very, very important uh, that we do not lie to impress others. How many of you have been lying to impress others? You can show your hand on live stream. Amen. Have you been lying to impress others? No. Hallelujah. I trust not. Amen. But saints of God, I'm saying all of that to get into the, you know, the real part of the word I want to say to you. And you know what? After that, he fell and he gave up the ghost because he lied. And then his wife came in three hours after, busy. They already conspired. And in her busyness, she didn't know that her husband was already taken out by the undertakers. And she said, yes, it's the amount of money. And he said, those that carried out your husband's body is here to take you out, even for lying. And she fell and she gave up the ghost also. And they took her out. 
child of God, God made a show of them. True. This is not a story where it have no truth. This is an account of truth. Hallelujah. It's an account of truth that when we lie against Holy Ghost uh, and we are walking in the demonstration of the power of God, uh, sometimes people can be dead for lying or for making mischief uh, or doing things that are not right. Amen, somebody. It's time that the church of Jesus Christ uh, regain the power that God has given to them, Pastor. It's time that we regain that power as we trust and obey, uh, as we continue to serve God uh, under submission in spirit and in truth. Uh, that whatever is coming our way, nothing will take us by surprise. The church of Jesus Christ is well equipped. God has given us everything through his son and through his sweet Holy Spirit. There is a move of God on the earth right now for those that are willing to serve in spirit and in truth that God will enable you to do things that you cannot do in that you will flow in the supernatural in that you will be able to discern, you will be able to speak and see change. You will be able to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Listen, you being loyal to God will bless you up, but you mixing will mess you up. Amen. Amen. You have a choice to be blessed up or to be messed up. I choose to be blessed up. By who? The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm not in this to impress anybody. I may not be popular, but I'm giving God thanks. I know that I'm standing on the word and on the promises of the mighty God. God didn't call us to be popular. He called us to be saints. He called us to be worshipers. He has called us to bring him pleasure. So it is important that you know your calling. Hallelujah. We are not called to the body of Christ uh, to impress anyone. Uh, we are called to be true to the God that have saved our dying soul. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord uh, because he's an awesome God. Uh, and when we look at verses 12, uh, i just give you a synopsis of the first part. Uh, when you look at verses 12, what does the Bible say? Hallelujah. You know, and even if you look at 11, Bible says, And great fear came upon uh, all the church and upon as many as heard these things. Uh, because they heard uh, what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. They heard that some things were happening uh, that were unusual. Uh, and these men continued to preach the gospel. Uh, when we look, uh, you know, even uh, in 417, uh, if you will just turn your Bibles to 417, uh, you will realize that uh, Bible says, but perhaps we can stop them from spreading uh, their propaganda. We'll warn them not to speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Uh, uh, that's from the life application. Now, child of God, uh, they didn't want them uh, to speak in the name of Jesus. Uh, so they conspired, they put them in jail, they do different things, uh, you know, to the apostles. Uh, but glory be to God, how many of you know uh, that jail cannot stop uh, the word of God? Uh, even in jail, hallelujah, Paul was writing, uh, even in prison or in jail, uh, Peter, God, the angel visited Peter and he got released while he was in prison, you got to know uh, that whatever the enemy tried to do to you, uh, it cannot stick uh, unless you allow it. Uh, because when you've got the mind of Christ, uh, when you've got the attitude uh, of the mighty God, uh, you're going to go through uh, and nothing shall stop you. Why? God has so assigned you to the earth uh, for times and seasons with purpose. Uh, and when you are destined for purpose, the enemy uh, will want to stop you. Uh, but child of God, be focused. Amen. You got to be focused. As I shared with you uh, today, some of the chat, you know, the storm of life will come. But as the man, the father was saying to the daughter, don't pull over, hallelujah, but keep going. He told her, keep driving, uh, keep driving. And when they, you know, have exited the storm, he said, pull aside now. And she was saying uh, that uh, you were telling me, I know why you were telling me pull aside to thank God. And he's saying that too, but he said, look back. Uh, and when you look back, where were the cars that were pulled aside? They were still in the storm. Your storm lasts longer when you pull aside from God, uh, when you begin to isolate uh, and do it. You 
your way, but your storm will come to an end shortly as you continue to go on the road with God, as you continue to take instruction. We're not going to pull aside. We're not going to stop, but we're going to continue to flow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Our storm is just for a short season, but eternal life is infinity forever and ever and ever. Child of God, know that God is able. People will not want us to speak the gospel, but they will want us to listen to their outer time in gospel, meaning those things that will not glorify God. Sometimes you see on the net, you see things that people should not get involved in, and they spend a lot of time. But I say to the believers, give God your time, and he will bless your life. He will bless your business. He will bless your children. He will bless your family. He will bless you with academics. Whatever is lacking in Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, -S, it is wrapped up. Hallelujah. Press, press, press your way through this evening. This is the hour of power for what? Empowerment. Be empowered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. These men were going through a, a torturous time uh, and times of difficulty, but they learned to press. Uh, any man of God on live stream this evening, any man of God hallelujah. in the house this evening, hallelujah. Men and women of God, we got to press through. When something happens, you don't stay there and die. You continue to move. Uh, what a joy serving the Lord. Uh, I'm excited to see what is God's next move. As he lead, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the midst of our current situation, I know God has this nation in his hand. I'm confident. And so much more the believers, those that will trust and those that will obey. Child of God, Bible says in verses 12, let's read it. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the, the rest thus, no man joined himself to them. But the people magnified them. Hallelujah. The saints were exalted because of the work that they saw. They saw, you know, uh, the hand of God in the midst of these men. They knew earlier when they looked at Peter, the, the saved, the unsaved, or the disciples, uh, and those that were just watching to see what would happen. Uh, they understood it couldn't be of mortal man what was taking place. Uh, a woman, a man fall and die, uh, and then the wife fall and die. Uh, and it was something that was disturbing in the mind. Uh, but child of God, they realized that it had to be a God thing uh, because nobody touched them. Nobody did. Hey, imagine, uh, you came in, you walk into the temple. Solomon porch. Herod that Herod Bill and Jesus would have walked there also and minister. He would have preached right there and teach right there. Rabbi, he's a teacher and he will go there and minister the word or teach the word and the scrolls, use the scrolls and listen right there. You know, uh, these two people without anybody touching them, uh, they walk into the temple of God healthy uh, and then because they were lying they fall dead. It brought a fear upon all the people that were looking on. Uh, the fear of God needs to come back uh, in the people of God today yes, and man. those that are looking in. Uh, you got to fear God uh, and you got to revel him in all things. Uh, you cannot say uh, that you know uh, I will when I'm ready. This is the time and the season uh, to give God what is due unto him. Uh, we want a better life uh, not bitter. You want better you trust and obey. Hallelujah. Yes. God will give us the desires of our heart. Amen. And Bible says and believers were the more added to the law, multitude, both of men and women, in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter's passing by might overshadow some of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, there was growth in the kingdom because how the men of God handled the gospel. Amen. They received the power. Amen. We see in chapter 1 and chapter 2 when the power came, they received the power. You that are looking in, you have received the power. 
What are you doing with the power? Are you sitting on the power? You are not a time bomber. So you've got to understand the power is not just for you, but the power is to enable yes, others. Man. The power is for a demonstration so that men and women will be won into the kingdom of righteousness. The power is to demonstrate the love of God, the working of miracles. Hallelujah. Sign, wonders, and miracles will follow them that believe. Where are the signs that are following the believers today? Where are the wonders and where are the miracles? It's time that the church be on fire for the mighty God. Don't tell me because the building is shut down. You cannot be on fire for God. The building may be shut, but Jesus on the inside. Hallelujah. He has empowered us to rule and reign according to his wisdom and he will give us the grace to go through on a daily basis. You need to recognize that God is able where we are not capable or where we are compromised. God is not compromised. His supernatural ability. Listen, fasting is so powerful. The things uh, that you cannot do on your own strength. Uh, even Jesus said to them uh, in the book of Mark 9, uh, with casting out the demons they could not have, uh, he said to them, These kind go out how? By prayer and fasting. Uh, some things that you cannot move uh, with a clean hand and a pure heart, uh, and it with prayer and fasting, you're going to move it in the name of Jesus. Uh, your mountain going to come plain land. Hallelujah. Yes. You say it has been plaguing you for years. Uh, this is the mountain. This is the sea. Season, uh, to squash that thing in the name of Jesus. Uh, the power of God on the inside of you uh, is greater than the devil that is stopping you. Uh, the devil got to bow to the Jesus in you. Uh, and the power of God uh, is greater on the inside. If you will serve in spirit and in truth, uh, Bible tells us uh, he has empowered us uh, to do the miracles. Uh, child of God, speak to your mountain. Uh, speak in active faith. Uh, your mountain got to go. Hallelujah. Your mountain gotta go this evening. Why? In the mighty name of Jesus uh, there is victory, yes. victory for the child of God. Uh, are you a child of God this evening? Uh, I declare fire touch you in your house. Uh, fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Uh, we break the bands of wickedness. Uh, we shut down the plans of the enemy and we command freedom right now. Uh, be thou loose in the name of Jesus. Uh, every fetter I speak to it in this past uh, and I declare the fetter and the chains of wickedness are broken over the airways right now. I declare God's fire will reach you and you will be able to connect. Father, we declare it so in the name of Jesus. A demonstration of your power. I command that headache to loose you right now, woman, in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that headache that have you going like this and your head and you're groaning. I command it to cease yes, now in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Be thou loose from the powers of sickness. Amen. I command it so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This God that we serve, he is real. And the fire is real. Don't sit on the fire of the mighty God. These men were workers. God want workers. Men and women of faith, hallelujah. He wants us uh, not to work against uh, one another, but to work in unison yes, uh, and to continue the good work. Uh, hallelujah. When I look at these men of God uh, and how they had active faith, uh, and despite uh, they were thrown into prison, uh, despite uh, they were flown or beaten. Despite they weren't fed and they stripped them naked. These men of God, they were saying, I would prefer to obey God than man. In the face of adversity, I will not save my life, but I prefer to lose my life for the gospel. Anybody reach that level where you are willing to lose your life for the sake of the gospel? If you haven't, you are not ready yet to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. You see, you are saying it is no longer me, but Lord, it's you that live it in me. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes people don't understand the power that you have. You're sitting on the power of attorney that is given unto you. It's time that the church awake. It's time that the church arise. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I can't go to church now. So you see how things are. No, I don't see how things are. I know how things are according to the word of God. If I can't reach the building, I know this word and I hide this word on the inside and daily I will read this word and I will get down 
downloads from heaven so I could fight the good fight of faith. I'm not only going to wait on the minister. I'm not going to wait on the intercessor only, but I'm going to reach God for myself because the veil was rent in two. It was cut. Now we can enter the holy place. Hallelujah. We don't need an earthly high priest. Our high priest is Jesus, as the book of Hebrews tells us. And we go through the mediator. Hallelujah. The one who gave himself as a ransom. So child of God, get excited. You have the power in the name of Jesus. You got the power tonight to blow the devil out of your life, out of situation. You got the power in the name of the most high God to bring rescue to your family where it seems as though they are going down. You can speak a word of rescue. Why? God has given you that authority and he has given you that enablement to do it. It may look weird, but it's better you look weird for Jesus than you stand silent and honor Satan. Hallelujah. When it's your time to speak a word, pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When it's your time to do it, you do it for the mighty God. I've gone many places and when you have to pray, they take offense in the name of Jesus. But listen, child of God, when you know your God and God allow you within the context of where you are and as a minister or as a child, a believer of faith and they ask you to pray, you use the name or else tell them, I can't pray because you use your name. I need to use the name that have given me the victory. You don't stop short at the end and say in the name of God, who is God? Bible tells us that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, the triune God, three in one, use the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. When you want a healing, you are not afraid to use the name. When you are among dignitaries, you should not be afraid to use the name. Yes. No matter how certified and qualified they are, the name of Jesus is bigger than any other name. Amen. No other name. We just sang nobody like you, Lord. We sang about his reckless love. He would leave the 99 and come for that one that walk away. If you are that one this evening, Jesus is calling you. Yes. Jesus is calling you home. In love, he's saying, return my son. Return my daughter. You are backslided this evening in this hour of power. The Lord is saying, come back to him. He said his love, his love, his love, his love is reaching you. He's saying, return, return. My son and my daughter, return. Hallelujah. There is a time and a place for everything. And this is the time and the season for the backslider to run back into the place of safety. The ark of safety is Jesus now. God is not going to send anybody to build another ark like in the days of Noah. Jesus is the ark of safety. How do you run in? You run in at the foot of the cross. It's a spiritual thing now. It's not a flesh thing. Where there was the ark of the covenant in the old time physically placed. In that place of the holy of holies and the high priest will go in. Now, all we have to do is come just as we are. But people find that it's too easy. They want to bring some sort of something that you know God will not respond to. You cannot appease God. You just have to come as you are and follow his instructions. Amen. Amen. We cannot appease God. We cannot impress God. Hallelujah. We could grieve him, but we cannot impress him because all the niceness you are all the beautiful persons that you are and all that you have, he allowed you to have it. Whether you acknowledge him or not, he is the creator of the universe. He created the heavens and the earth and everything that is therein, he put it. When you read Genesis, when you read the book of John, nothing that was created or there came by itself. God so instructed that it be there. Child of God, know the God that you serve. Wow! The God that we serve. All consuming fire is powerful. Powerful. He's amazing. These men, they were on fire for God. We have anybody on fire this evening for Jesus? Lighthouse, live stream, anybody on fire this evening? Hallelujah. You see, there was a song that they were singing. Sit down and I can't sit down. Stand up and I can't stand up. Shut up and I can't shut up. Why? Because... 
Jesus in my soul and I can't shut up. Hallelujah. Sometimes the presence of the Lord uh, makes us, uh, you know, so excited uh, that, you know, you just can't be quiet. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. Uh, it's bubbling in my soul. I'm singing, I'm dancing since Jesus made me whole. Hallelujah. You see, when you're in a bed of affliction uh, and Abba Father, hallelujah, to Jesus visit you uh, and you are out of that bed, uh, you cannot help uh, but give him thanks. Uh, because why? When the doctors give you uh, a bad report, hallelujah, all you can do is say, Abba, Father, help me. My cry is unto you in this hour. I cry out to you. Heal my body. Heal my body. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with the prayer of agreement, many have received healing. Listen, we can't stop our praise and nothing will stop our praise because God has given us the blessing. He has given us his latter rain. Hallelujah. Oh, it's a latter rain season. We are walking in the latter rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords. When you look at the word, the Bible says, we see in so much, verse 15, that they brought forth the sick into the streets. And when I read it from the Amplified Bible, in verse uh, 15, hallelujah, you will see, to such an extent, and they even carry their sick out into the street and put them on cots and on sleeping pads, uh, so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall upon them with healing power. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. They had that faith and that confidence uh, because they saw a demonstration of the power of God uh, from inside the temple where fear came upon all that were there. You must have that righteous godly fear upon you uh, that you will be able, your faith, uh, you can activate your faith and receive your miracle right in your home. Uh, whatever it is, you can receive it tonight. Uh, tonight is your night for a miracle. Uh, don't let this hour of power say, pass you by and you didn't receive the new job. You didn't receive the new vehicle. You didn't receive transformation. You didn't receive the upgrade. You didn't receive the promotion. Don't let this hour of power pass you by and you miss out. And for those that need in salvation, I declare salvation. Hallelujah. Those of you that need expansion, I declare expansion in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are limited in resources, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you are receiving tonight, hallelujah, that even uh, the presence of Jehovah God visiting you uh, and encouraging you, uh, blessing you uh, and giving you surplus, uh, I declare you shall have uh, surplus in the name of Jesus, uh, that whatever have affected you, uh, it only affected you for a short time uh, and this is your turn it around season. Uh, I declare it so. Uh, I declare the supernatural for every child of God that is tuned in, uh, every individual that will look at this broadcast. I'm declaring blessing. I cancel your curse. Every generational curse in this season where everything you put your hands to do, you start well and then it dry up and you have to abandon the project. But I curse that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I declare the blessing that whatever you put your hands to do, stretch your hands out. I declare your hands are blessed in the name of Jesus. Your hands are blessed that whatever you touch, I declare it shall multiply and it shall not divide. It shall not diminish but it shall be multiplied. I declare your hands are blessed to produce whatever God have anointed those hands to produce. I declare that you are receiving the blessings of the Lord. Those things that have been delayed. Your checks, your monies that have been owed. To some of you I'm seeing where people have owed you for time and season. I declare it's coming to you now in the name of Jesus. I declare that God is interfering with their very hearts uh, and their pockets uh, and they shall give you uh, even that which they owed you. Uh, I decree and declare it is so in the name of Jesus. Uh, it is so. Uh, I declare a hundredfold blessing uh, upon you this night uh, that your hands are blessed uh, and the wisdom of God is taking you to higher heights. Uh, Father, we bless the live stream family yes, Lord. and we declare in the name of Jesus that whoever is looking in, I feel a strong urge for the prayer of salvation. And I declare, Father, whoever is looking in, that do not know you or know you and walk backwards. Jesus. Father, tonight, I lead them into that prayer of salvation. And you repeat after me that I in live stream, Father, I come to you today 
in the name of your son Jesus acknowledging that I've been walking in error and I need a savior dear Jesus I ask you to come into my heart wash me with your blood cleanse me from all unrighteousness and make me whole dwell in me and give me the insight to go forward in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So my friend, whoever I have prayed that prayer this evening, I declare the blessings of the Lord upon you. That even as you find your way back to mighty God, uh, strength, strength, strength of an overcomer, I declare your season has shifted, uh, atmosphere shift over your life, over your finances, over your health. Uh, I declare the peace of the mighty God uh, that even right now, the service would have been a blessing to you. I thank God. I thank God for you. Hallelujah. And I bless the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, these men, they lived the life. They lived the life. And they died for the sake of the gospel. When I read these, you know, scriptures, it blesses my heart to know that the love that they had for Abba, it wasn't just talk, but it was a flow of action, Pastor. That action of love never ceases. Hallelujah. Return to your first love, as Revelation said. Press. Hallelujah. I bless you this evening. And we will sing as we close in this hour of power. That's what the Lord has placed in my spirit. I will not stretch when the Lord say the cut. And that is what I receive tonight. And we will just bless the Lord in song.
of praying and fasting, studying your word, and just making ourselves available in your presence. I declare every family is blessed this night. Every individual that have tuned in is blessed. And those that will be, I declare the same blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are thankful, mighty God, as we begin each month for this opportunity to be in fast and prayer in your presence. We continue to say thank you, Abba, Father. We continue to say, Lord, we believe in you. Lord, for we know that you are great and you are greatly to be praised. We pronounce a blessing upon the Facebook live stream family. We thank you for all the people and we say, Lord, may they have an excellent week, an excellent month. May they continue to receive breakthroughs. May they continue to receive favor from above. Father, I declare that they will have great testimonies. Hallelujah. And we continue to say, Lord, have your way. May we be alert. May we be covered from this COVID-19. And whatever is going around that can affect our lives. May we be alert in our going out and in our coming in. Cover us under your precious blood. And we say, thank you, Lord, for your blessings with me, rich and add no sorrow. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Saints of God, we thank God for you and we bless God. You know, the testimonies are coming in and for those of you that remember Pastor Marilyn, she sent a love and she's doing well in Jesus' mighty name. I've spoken to her several times over the past, you know, couple, uh, a week or so and uh, I'm giving God thanks for her restoration. Uh, and we continue to pray for the elders and give God praise. So, live stream family, much love to you. Stay strong, stay blessed, stay in tune with the frequency of heaven. And we shall be on again on Thursday evening, 7 p.m. for a time of deliverance. It's thankful Thursday and time of deliverance. And also, Bible says, we are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Also tomorrow is Mr. Arnaldo Conley's birthday. And we give God thanks to him. Let's put our hands together. And we want to wish you an awesome, awesome, happy birthday, Brother Arnaldo. We say thank God for you. Much love to you. And may you enjoy your day. Yes, in the home because you are not uh, at this point in time. We can't go anywhere. You know, things are locked down, dying. And, uh, but we are thankful. Amen. May the Lord bless him richly. And may he serve the Lord all the days of his life uh, in spirit and in truth. So we thank God for him. Blessings. See you on Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Much love. Stay strong. Stay blessed.